We have some stunning breaking news. Roger Goodell, the head of the NFL, has been the arbiter of the NFL since 2006 this year. He found himself as enemy number one in a very public battle with longtime Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, who's been looking to derail Goodell's plans for a contract extension. Fox Business now hearing. Well, I want to let Charlie Gasparino tell you, but he had made all these requests, a lot of demands, private jet, et cetera, and there was word that he wouldn't get this contract extension. Um, here's what we know, uh, what sources inside the NFL are telling the Fox Business Network that just moments ago, I mean like... 10 minutes ago, the owner, the compensation committee made up of top owners led by Arthur Blank, formerly of Home Depot, mm -hmm. the owner of the uh, Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta Falcons. Uh, they extended Roger Goodell's contract for five years. What these wow. sources are telling me inside the NFL is that the compensation cut this deal just moments ago, extending for five years. And here's what they here's how they're going to spin this, Liz. They're saying that the only thing that is guaranteed in this contract is his $3.5 million annual salary, but there are incentives here, and the incentives is what's really going to could push Goodell's salary up from 30 to 40 to possibly $50 million. 46 based, based was what up, we last heard. Right? Based, up, based on these incentives, but this deal is done. It's probably going to be officially announced, although now that we're breaking it, I mean, who knows? They may have to come out earlier. The plan was to have it officially announced at next week's ownership meeting in, uh, owners meeting in Dallas, which is incredibly ironic. Yes. Why is that? Because the the opponent of of this of this deal, Jerry Jones? the guy that wanted to kill this deal and to put Roger Goodell on a tight leash, is none other than the Cowboys' inimitable owner, Jerry Jones. So uh, we should point out that this this deal is very interesting in a number of ways. I think, from what I understand, Goodell, and we still have to see the details got most of what he wanted. I believe he still gets the plane. We have to hear. Remember that there was a lot of hand wring of whether he should wear these, should get the plane, whether these sort of incentives are easily met that, you know, you could just wake up in the morning and you get an incentive. Uh, for this this deal, what, I want what, that. what Jerry did was very, I know, but you see, now let's, let's be real clear here with this. With, this was a defining moment, this contract in the NFL, because Jerry Jones essentially led a coup against, against Roger Goodell. He brought in some like-minded owners. Owners. I would say one of them was Dan Snyder, the owner of the Washington Redskins. Another was Stan Kroenke of, of the Los Angeles Rams. And he basically tried to use the, you with them, tried to basically get the league's compensation committee to back off and to expose them and to embarrass them into uh, not giving a major, not giving major concessions to Goodell. The owners, the other owners, the rival owners, the people like Arthur Blank, who's leading the compensation committee, who's a supporter of, of, of uh, Roger Goodell, also John Mara, the owner of the Giants, what they would tell you is that Jerry did this totally out of spite because he's mad that Goodell took out his top player, the running back Ezekiel Elliott, on a six-game suspension because of uh, alleged uh, domestic violence. That's what they would tell you. It's totally, it's totally uh, personal, and it's totally because of he's, he believes the Dallas Cowboys season was screwed based on that, that move by Goodell. Either way, bottom line is today Jerry Jones's attempt to basically wage a coup and to prevent Goodell from getting a contract extension or to water it down to keep him on a tight leash has failed. Goodell, just moments ago, was, was awarded his contract by, by the compensation committee. They voted to approve a five-year deal with a guaranteed $3.5 million salary plus incentives that could push that much higher to the tens of millions of dollars, 50 millions. And from what we understand, the plane is in there. Now, I have to confirm the plane part with the NFL. My source wouldn't go into it. He was hemming and hawing. Uh, but uh, I believe that the plane is in there. The plane. The <laughs> plane. The plane. Uh, we should point out that <laughs> nobody. That, that we, should, we should point out live. something. Of, listen, this is a great story because it's a business story. It's a sports, sports story. story. We not only beat CNBC, we, we beat ESPN with this thing. <laughs> Literally moments ago, this went down. Fist bump. Charlie, thank you very much. Okay. Charlie Gasparino.